Hi everybody, it's Franz for on Friday. We are here with Jay. Jay, say hi. Hi, how are you? I always mispronounce Jay's last name. Jeru. Jeru, Jeru Construction. You may remember him from a little while back when we were doing Zooms. He's here again and we are talking carpentry and we are properly socially distanced because Jay is how tall? Six foot nine. Six <laughs> foot nine, so we are way, I'm five one people. We are way distanced. Okay, Jay, ready for your questions? Sure, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, number one, carpentry. Uh, what kinds of carpentry are there? Well, there's several kinds, Fran. So basically from forming for the concrete guys to put the foundation in, from framing up um, the structure, from steel framing all the way to wood framing, and then um, cutting in roof sections. There's so many sheeting. And then there's finished carpentry, which is, you know, your custom built-ins, wainscoting, crown molding, flooring, trim. You know, that's just a short list for you. But wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's, there's several different types of carpentry. Okay, so there's like the structural, which is more outside and inside, and then there's the finishing, which is the custom stuff. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so with all these like do-it-yourself shows, what type of carpentry can people attempt on their own and what kind should they never attempt and call you immediately and first? Well, I, I say that that's person specific based on their skill sets. Now, okay. there's a lot of things out there with you know, YouTube videos and whatnot where people like to do it yourself, but I definitely recommend good preparation because no good job will ever be a good job without the proper preparation and there's the steps of doing things. And unfortunately, there's only one way to do things and that's the right way. If you don't, then it's just, you're just wasting your, your money and your time. I, I highly recommend getting a professional um, if you're not comfortable with what you're doing. Okay, because then you're going to mess it up and end up calling you anyways, right? <laughs> exactly, right? And we, and we do see that. And I mean, unfortunately, in the business, people are very money savvy because money is what makes the world go around. But, you know, unfortunately, in construction, things are extremely expensive right now. And uh, <laughs> we, I highly, <laughs> highly recommend sticking with professionals. I'm going to jump in. So that brings me to my next question, because you said money, lumber. Any thoughts on lumber? That's, any workarounds? Uh, that's like, a touchy any subject tricks? right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's there's no uh, real you know way around paying for lumber. Okay. Um, and from what I've heard from my suppliers, is lumber is actually supposed to jump another thirty percent. So, I mean, I've heard jokes through people who are going to start chopping their houses up and selling it for parts, parting out their houses <laughs> like cars, I guess. But uh, no, unfortunately, there's just there's no way around it. But there are products that you can purchase now, like as the, the hot talk is about plywood. Now you okay. can use OSB for certain things, which will save you a little bit of money. But uh -huh. I mean, again, you have to do the things proper, the proper way, or there's okay. just really no point in, in doing it. Okay. So moving forward, if you're looking at doing a project,